The new technology and computational neuroscience research pillar of the Banjir Department at George Mason University comprises of the Computational Neuroanatomy Group, directed by Professor George Ascoli, the Computational Experimental Neuroplasticity Lab, directed by Professor Abrama Blackwell, and the Neuroengineering Lab, directed by Professor Natalia Pichiotto. Researchers in this pillar are striving to understand the function of the nervous system across multiple scales, from molecular interactions through individual neurons to large-scale neural circuits with real-world applications to neurological and psychiatric disorders, as well as next-generation artificial intelligence algorithms. The goals of this pillar are to contribute to the basic understanding of the brain, design novel devices to interface with the nervous system for measurement and therapeutic applications, and to use data science infrastructures for high-throughput, open-access brain investigations. Here now from our research faculty. Hi, my name is Giorgio Ascoli, and I direct the Center for Neuroinformatics, Structures, and Plasticity. My lab works on two fronts, a community repository of neural reconstructions and real-scale data-driven simulations of the brain circuit responsible for spatial memories. To a first sight, brain cells might appear similar to those of other organs, but cells in the nervous system have specialized tree-like processes to connect into powerful signal processing networks. These very diverse input and output arbors determine the unique lives of every individual, including their actions, thoughts, emotions, and aspirations. Reconstructing the architecture of these neural trees is a major scientific and technical challenge that requires three steps, staining the branches of individual cells, microscopic imaging, and transforming the results into a tree structure of three coordinates. My lab created a free worldwide repository of neural reconstructions, enabling researchers to answer many questions about the relation between structure, activity, and function in the nervous system. These data also allow simulating biologically realistic neural networks to investigate mechanisms of neural function. Such computer models represent complete and testable hypotheses of how brains work. My lab focuses especially on the neural circuit responsible for navigation. Interestingly, we discovered that our data-driven simulations solve not only spatial problems, but also other cognitive puzzles, such as this neurological test, where subjects must move three rings from one peg to another without ever placing a large ring on top of a smaller ring. We now have a theory of how a network of neurons can find the correct solution. This mechanism is consistent with evidence that some exploration is needed before an aha eureka moment strikes, at which point the answer becomes obvious. And the same process applies to many other cognitive tasks. Members of Ken Lab apply computational and experimental approaches to study mechanisms underlying long-term memory storage. We are particularly interested in understanding the basal ganglia, a part of the brain involved in habit learning and reward learning, and also involved in Parkinson's disease and addiction. Numerous experiments support that long-term synaptic plasticity is one of the cellular mechanisms underlying learning and memory storage. Most experiments on synaptic plasticity stimulate populations of neurons using very regular stimulation. However, when an animal is learning a task, the inputs to neurons are quite variable. Thus, a critical question is whether synaptic plasticity can occur under these in vivo-like conditions. To answer this question, we develop models of calcium dynamics in neurons and stimulate them with in vivo-like input. Our results have shown that synaptic plasticity indeed occurs, and we are investigating which factors control the direction of plasticity. Experiments have also demonstrated diverse molecular requirements, which makes the field quite confusing. Thus, we develop large-scale models of signaling pathways activated by calcium and other neuromodulators. Because these simulations are computationally intensive, we have developed computationally efficient software for modeling these systems. Our most recent results demonstrate that we are able to predict how chronic alcohol changes synaptic plasticity. In the past, synaptic plasticity experiments have been limited to male mice, which means that we have no idea whether female mice learn differently than males. We have started doing experiments in female mice and keeping track of which stage of estrus they are in. Our experiments show that females learn similarly to males when they are not in estrus, but not when they are in estrus. 
we are currently investigating which sex hormone receptors are involved. Ultimately, our experimental results may shed light on why women are more vulnerable to addiction than men. Our pillar is spread over three main locations on the George Mason University's Fairfax campus, the Krasner Institute for Advanced Studies, the Wynn Engineering Building, and the Peterson Family Health Sciences Hall. For more information about this and other research areas in the Bangerian Department, please check out the following websites. You can also take a quick picture or scan the QR codes here. Thank you and have a good day.